Hello everybody, Travis here at Tebow's Corner. We've got a new deck for you today. It's a Mind Splice Apparatus deck. I was going to debut a different one. I made a deck a couple of days ago and it was winning a lot. And I trotted it out today and I lost three times in a row to three very different decks. It was like Arena got tired of me winning and said, No, you're not going to win. We can beat you this way and this way and this way. And I did have some answers to what was being thrown at me, but I would never draw them. So I said, okay, Arena, you don't want me to play with my new deck. Let's go to one that, that I've had, but I haven't had a chance to show anybody yet. This is another Mind Splice Apparatus deck. And Mind Splice Apparatus makes instants and sorceries cheaper, and so do certain other things, like Storm Skrelix. So what I decided is, let's make a cheap apparatus deck where not just the Mind Splice Apparatus, but other cards also make instant and sorcery spells cost less. going to pass because we want to be able to use Fires of Victory whenever we feel like. Like against Talana and Elena. Easy come, easy go. Go ahead and try. Hopefully, they don't have a second one already. Okay, it was a good call. There was nothing I could have done against that one anyway. Bring down Storm Screelix. And we just pass. Can't be blocked with power two or less if they get the three different powers. And they can do that this turn if they know. They just do that instead. I'm kind of okay with that. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. I can do that for five. I have just enough power in the field to pay for everything. I get two copies of those things, and I can attack over people's heads right now. Perfect. Seven lands, if they've got a bomb, they can do something really big. There's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I like that. That's very good for me. Put a counter on it, please. Don't put it on the branch. Okay, excellent. Because, now we're taking that. It's fine. And that has reach, so... We're not going to attack this turn. We're just going to end the turn. But we'll make this more powerful than seven. We 
can't really stop that. Mm, one, two, three. No, that's I have exactly three after I pay the one blue. Their second red mana source. They are putting everything out. I'm gonna let them have that. I don't really care about that. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a good number. Let's do five. And Zen. That would be eight. It's not enough. All right. We'll just do that. I'm going to make this a nine nine in case the branch gets another land. That should stop the attacks. There shouldn't be anybody willing to attack me this turn. Well, maybe that'll change things. Okay, let's get rid of... I can't kick that, right? So we'll just get rid of Seraph now. Because if that were going to tap and attack with that, everybody would have Death Touch. I don't want to lose everybody to Death Touch. Really? I already had three lands. That's where everything's been. Um, no attacks? Um, yeah, we'll make that 10 10. And we have to discard a card. Alright. Now we're starting to play with power. I'm all tapped out, so whatever you got, I'm at your mercy. <clears throat> they killed their own creature. Alright, um, let's go play a regular one, and then we'll just pass the turn. And they're at 9, so let's go ahead and start pumping up others. Take action. I feel like I have enough lands now. Pay eight. Oh, they can, right? They've got Cami. I can miscalculate. I forgot all about Cami over there. Cami's just been sitting there. They haven't been using it. You can do it. You can pay the cost. You can get through. There you go. They figured it out. Um, here. Can you pay one more? <laughs> I don't know if that was worth it, but it amused me. I wish I could pretend I was that clever and I just wanted to, to play a prank on them, but... No, I messed up. I forgot completely about Cami being there. Okay, that's a good card to have. 
that means I can start playing some of this stuff. And this. No attacks. And I don't need to do anything with the cards. At some point, they're going to get more land. Hey! That's good timing. Mill two cards and put a permanent in your hand. No, I don't want you to get Hannah back. I don't want you to get Seraph back. So, what do I want back? I want Invoke the Winds. I want Blue Sun's Twilight. I want Silver Scrutiny. And I want Cosmic Epiphany. Although I've got to be careful that I don't mill myself. I could draw some cards. Just wait. We'll gain a little bit of life. We'll let Vadric get uh, fatter, so to speak, and bigger. I don't have anything to stop the next thing they put out. If they have another Holon on Elena or a Sereth, I'm not going to be happy. They're just using Augur to play cards right off the top now. They might be willing to risk an attack if they think they can get somebody through. Here, I'm just going to start putting these out. And we're going to draw a card. Yeah, good timing. <laughs> That's a lot of triggers. Um, no, we're not going to take action. We're going to play this card. That's a cool deal. That's a really cool deal. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. Ugh. I really kind of needed something else. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, that'll still that'll still work. I didn't want to do I didn't want to waste the silver scrutiny on that. Alright. No attacks. In the turn. If I can get them to commit to a big attack, this could be kind of fun. nothing. Take action. Ooh. This is kind of interesting. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Go ahead and get five more cards. Okay. That works. I don't need that many Vatrix. 
<laughs> Can't stop that this time. What are they going to bring back? They bring back Timberland Guide? Why? Out of every card you could possibly bring back. They're going for it. Did I miscalculate? Did I err? Let's block that. Uh, let's go ahead and block the 10-10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15. And then the rest we can take care of, right? So we can get rid of you. Uh, we can get rid of you. And we can get rid of one of you. I feel pretty good about all that. They gotta get rid of the contortionist troop, right? They're gonna leave me Vadric. It took like 14 points of damage. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Now's when the fun starts. Invoke the winds. Take the face breaker. Return the token. That looks good to me. Pass the turn. I'm playing real conservative. I could have flown over his head, right? They didn't have anybody with reach left. But the match lasted for so long. Ah. I was so sure they would wait so I could play the second hole breaker horror. As usual, my opponents love to pummel me in the face, and then when it looks like they're about to get hit, they run away. That is the story of my life on Arena. Okay, cheap apparatus. So we have a Mind Splice apparatus deck for everybody new. If you are brand new, go ahead and consider subscribing. And uh, My Splice Apparatus is one of my favorite cards. We've got a playlist with just about every color combination you can think of. And this one, I, I got through all of the X spells. Created a whole bunch of decks with nothing but X spells. And that was kind of like a dream of mine from when I first started playing the game. And then I said, okay, I'm done with all the X spells. Let's do other things besides just the X spells, because you can do more. So we did a Alchemist Gambit deck with four copies of Alchemist Gambit. 
you know, cut four costs off the cleave card. Ended up taking lots of extra turns. That turned out to be really good for winning matches. This one is based on the idea of all the other cards that we currently have access to that make instants and sorceries cheaper. So we've got the Haughty Djinn. Instants and sorceries cost one less. We've got Storm Skrelix. Instants and sorceries cost one less. Um, we've got Vadric Astral Archmage. As the Day and Night gets triggered, his power and toughness increase by one each time, and instants and sorceries cost X less to cast whatever his power is. So if he gets to be a 4-5, then things cost 4 less. You combine that with the 4 Mind Splice Apparatus, and you've got a deck where instants and sorceries cost cheaper than ever, less than ever. In the meantime, we do have two Tolarian Terrors where the, the spell itself costs less for each instant and sorcery in your graveyard. So we make the instants and sorceries cheaper, we cast a lot of them, we make this cheaper, and then we get a bunch of lands down and we can afford to play the whole break our horrors. And what's left is the, the normal blue shell that I have, Witness Protection. Um, I always have one of those. Uh, March of Swirling Mist and the Force Syncopates are my normal X spells along with Blue Sun's Twilight. I, I used to do just one of these, but I got a second one, so I fit it in. That's why we went up to 64 cards. Got the till two Silver Scrutinies and one Counterspell with Devi's Cover-Up uh, that allows me to get like more Syncopates back and stuff like that. Invoke the Winds to take care of their artifacts and uh, creatures. And my final draw spell with Cosmic Epiphany which uh, draws spells equal to the number, draws cards equal to the number of instant and sorceries in your graveyard. So we're still following along with that theme. And then of course my normal two whole breaker horse. So this is the normal blue shell that I use whenever I use a mind splice apparatus deck. And then we basically added on um, 11 creatures that make this whole row cheaper. And uh, it's kind of funky because you wouldn't normally think, and I'm doing this on purpose, okay? I'm, I'm taking a deck that is usually creatureless for the most part, um, you know, just two, three, four creatures max, and I'm adding on 11 creatures to something that's mostly centered around making instants and sorceries cheaper. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but it's been working. Uh, for removal, I've got Four Fires of Victory. It uses both of the Is It Colors, red and blue, for kicking it. If I do manage to kick it, then I draw a card. So it's great up front to deal, you know, five, six points of damage to any creature. And later on, you could still do a little bit of damage, depending on how full your hand is. I do have one copy of Alchemist Gambit in this deck, but I did. The previous deck had four, so I'm kind of leaving, you know, and it's like we already just did that not too long ago. Um, we've got one Celestis to help out with Vadric with the day and night change and to cycle through lands if I get too many lands. And a uh, final experimental card, Vindictive Flame Stoker, Phyrexian Wizard. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on it. Then for seven mana, you can discard your hand and draw four cards. So if I do, this is kind of another draw card spell. If I run out and I don't have a draw card spell handy, uh, but I go through all my regular cards, then I can just discard nothing and draw four cards. But if he if he's out and survives, it's just a one-two. I'm not going to attack with it. If the enemy thinks it's useless and not worth their time, and they don't remove it, then uh, the more oil counters that get on there, the easier it's going to be for me to cast that and activate uh, the Flame Stoker by sacrificing it. So the more oil counters, the cheaper it will. So maybe we could get it down to, you know, just two or three mana in order to, to cast it. And uh, that's the idea. And it's been doing for... I've, I've had... How do I want to say? Since we, we kind of got interrupted for a couple of days because uh, I put up the stuff for the... Um, the early access event just now for um, the Wild, the Wilds of Eldraine. So that, that ate up some time. Um, so I was going to do this earlier. I, I play with this deck every day or two. And there was a period in there where it just gave me nothing but like two Storm Screelixes in my opening hand. And then it would starve me for land or something. And so I'd always end up with like, uh, you know, the Whole Breaker Horrors or Cosmic Epiphany first or two Storm Screelixes. And I had a whole rash like for an entire day, and I'm like, okay, let me put the deck away, because Magic doesn't want me to play with this deck. Uh, it just totally destroyed what the normal opening hand used to be, and really changed things up. But, when Arena does that to me, I just, I tuck it away, and I'll come back to it another time.
when Arena forgets. Because I made another new deck, and that won really well for two days in a row. And then, you know, I brought it out, and they beat me three times straight. And I'm like, okay, I'm not debuting this deck tonight because Arena's got a mat on against this deck. I made it, it wins, and now, now when I'm ready to make a, a recording about it, it doesn't win anything. What a coinkydink. So I went to another deck I had that I just hadn't had a chance to debut yet. So we're going to play this one. And see, I was probably supposed to mulligan this. I don't need two of these up front. They didn't give me a single counterspell. They gave me a, an expensive creature. And they started me off with one draw spell that you really want to save till later. And then they just made me draw a second one that you still want to save till later. So, this is... I don't even have the right colors here. I'm going to need at least two blue, right? We'll get rid of that one now, so that they can't use that to draw a card later. And we'll at least fix the mana. And, they, and the Cosmic Epiphany. So, the three cards that are geared towards what I want to have happen later on in the game, I got all of them up front along with the redundant apparatus. This is usually what Arena does when they want to make sure there's absolutely no way in the world I can win. This is the only thing I can cast because they made me miss a land drop on top of things. So I think I did mention, right, that um, <laughs> the last time I tried to do this, you know, I had a day where they would just, they'd give me these specific cards and then they, they'd starve me from land. Um, yeah. Starved me from land there. That's two missed land drops. Uh, let's go ahead and draw one card. What a waste of a draw spell. Poor Inga and Isika go away. Weaver. That's a good one. Um, can't do much against that right now. I keep getting red land sources. Let's put out an apparatus. Things are going to start to hurt us. Are you kidding me, Arena? Arena. Arena. Really, Arena? Four Mind Splice Apparatus in the deck. And I'm getting them all up front within the first 20 cards. Well, I could take another turn, right? What kind of stuff do we have here? Still don't have the right number there. I guess we're taking another turn. And it's tap land, of course. Uh, they might have removal, but let's go ahead and put out one blocker at least. Been seeing this card a lot lately. Oh, hello. Lots of good stuff. That's a lot of spells for just five lands. Okay, we'll block that. We're going to end up taking six. Don't have much choice. we got to take Falco. There's the fourth mind splice apparatus. You can't make this up, folks.
they can tap my Falco and still attack with a double strike dual craft trainer. Oh, never mind. They'll just give everybody trample. Perfect timing. I was about to draw four extra cards to see if there was anything that could save me. Oh, you didn't do trample. You didn't do trample. Trade. Give me something good. Okay. Um, I think we can kick this too, right? So... Get rid of you. And... What can we take? How about you? I'm going to take you. Let's hit you for eight. You should be willing to chump block that, right? You don't want to take eight points to the face. Four Mind Splice Apparatus. Incredible. Am I actually going to pull this off? Pass the turn. Another dual craft trainer. Oh, yes, please. I'll take that trade every day. You're tapped out. You just lost your legendary creature, didn't you? Oh, no, he had... Oh, never mind. He saved him. Travis is doing everything wrong again. All right. I only need two blue, so I can do... Do six. That feels like enough. Kick this. Get rid of the second dual craft trainer. And then I can still put this down. If you got a board wipe, now's a good time to play one. I think I'm going to keep that, if that's okay with you. Let's see, what do we want? We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. We'll take all that. I need to refill my deck. It's half empty.
Oh, we can play stuff right off the top. Perfect. Excuse me, I'm just going to fly over your head a little bit. Digging through their deck. Do we care about that? How much do they have? One, two, three, four, five. Got anything else? I can go draw a card right now, right? I'm gonna go draw a card. Actually, let me go ahead and we'll let you resolve because you're making it complicated for me here. Aha. Okay, move, activate ability, resolve mine. Think about that. I don't need another Vadrek, do I? Hmm, I've got so much stuff. Finally got him under 20. Will you transform Jacob? You transform Jacob. But you tapped out to do it. Four Mind Splice apparatus on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Now we start to have some fun. Trigger, 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 trigger. Play the land, get it out of the way. Play the whole break of horror. Sacrifice Vindictive, vindictive Flame Stoker for only one cost. Get rid of all of that stuff. Draw four cards. Go ahead and kick this. Get rid of you. Trigger, trigger. Return non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Um... You. They lose their spell. They lose their creature. And we can still be playing stuff. Return you. Why not? And I think we'll just save that one. And that's game. Props to them for hanging in for all that. I can't believe I started the match with two silver scrutinies and drew a cosmic epiphany and I lasted long enough to make them all good. And two mind splice apparatus. I could have sworn that was a link that was a, an opening hand I should have mulliganed.
this technically is a better hand. In theory, it's a better opening hand. So the question is, do I lose because I have a better opening hand? Because <laughs> I thought my last opening hand really stank. Maybe I don't know this game as well as I think I should. I have two fires. I guess I have to use one. I'd like a chance to get Vadric down. But they're always doing stuff like that, aren't they? And they gave us another creature that is too expensive. Oh, I can't, I can't kick that. There. Okay, missed a land drop, and I'm out of removal. They have so many creatures, they're like throwing them away. They threw away two already. Because they had an extra one. Um, I can't take you. that. Nah, yeah, I'm kinda I'm kinda too far behind now. I'm two whole lands behind. You really can't go against an all-flyer deck and miss a couple of land drops early on. Seriously, Arena? It's my turn. What are you going to do with the one mana? I'm going to have to cast Silver Scrutiny to draw one card again, aren't I? Just to go get a fourth land. And I still will have dead cards in my hand. What in the world is happening? Come on, CJ. Thank you. They, my opponent is not missing a land drop. I know I start to sound like a broken record every single day that I put out a video, but my opponent is not missing a single land drop. They have the answer they need. I'm three lands behind. With a deck that is purpose purposefully designed to make things as cheap as possible. Well, that last match was so much fun. I don't usually get all four apparatus out in the same match. I've done it before, but... It didn't happen a lot. So it's always cool when you do it. Okay. Now, you know what? Let's attack. Um, actually, I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to pass the turn. They've got something holding up priority. I just want to flip it tonight, make Vadric a little bit more powerful make my Silver Scrutiny a teensy bit better and draw two cards instead of one card, and I can do it on their turn. Where did they go? CJ, you're winning. You got six lands to my three, and I can't block your flyers, and you removed my one defense. This is not the time for you to go take a bathroom break. Or a smoke break. Or a puff on something. You can play with your pet while you're away.
can play with my pet while I'm away. And in the shot put competition! Hey, doesn't even make it halfway across the field. What should we do here? Should we just quit? The game didn't freeze, right? My internet connection didn't crash. I always have to check that every now and then when this happens. Okay, my opponent spent all of my turn doing absolutely nothing. It's now finally their turn. Alright. Y'all can skip ahead. I gotta sit here and wait for this. Again, Magic the Gathering, Wizards of the Coast, it'd be nice to have a YouTube format, or a Twitch format, or a combination, like a, a streaming format, so that people that go into that are planning on actually playing the game, and there are limited, more limited options to rope, like maybe half as much time. That would really save, like, probably years of my life at this point. Where did they, why would they do that? There, maybe there was some real-life emergency that they just had to go away. Maybe it was like some dude was playing and the wife called him to do a chore and he didn't make it back in time. Alright, we're going to play one more. I don't really relish victories like that. I mean, there's, I'm, I'm, still, I'm not quitting. I'm still staying in it to hope that maybe, you know, I get Silver Scrutiny, I draw two cards... I could sacrifice the Vindictive Flame flame Guy. could maybe get some more cards. Somewhere in there would be an answer before I die. It could happen. But I at least want to play it through. Again, like the worst possible card to get in the entire match. I'm starting to lose track of the number of times I get Cosmic Epiphany. Okay, I can Syncopate or I can use Fires of Victory. Which one makes more sense? Um, I think Fires of Victory makes more sense. And then we just hold with the syncopate. My opponent does not miss a land drop. Um, I cannot stop that. That's a very cheap spell. Let's go ahead and put down the gin then. It's a tiny risk. Um, hang on. Everything's cheaper, right? You're tapped out. It cost me only one point of damage to stop that. And then I can go ahead and block you. Um, let's put out Vadric. Very much on the defensive, already down to 12 life points. Opponent has a good mix of instants and creatures. 
and they've got everything they need that now, whenever they do play a, a non-creature spell, instant or sorcery, they're in good shape. Let's keep on filling out while we can. We will use all of, we don't have a, we don't have a counter spell. And they built up a nice front line, so. Come on. We actually beat our opponent on land for a change. This is a very cheap deck, though. Two mana, two mana, two mana. Two mana, one mana, two mana. This is pretty much all they need, right? They could get, well, if they get five, they could create the dragon. Um, do we want to kill something or bring down a creature? Let's do nothing. Thundering Raiju. Perfect. Because we can kick this, still have enough to take out Raiju, stop any attack with the 4-4, four four, and we got to draw a card. And we can take an extra turn, because we have Skrelix and the Jin out. That gives us a fourth card to draw with Cosmic Epiphany. Cleave. I can attack with both of these. Oh, it gets exiled. I forgot. That doesn't add me a card to Cosmic Epiphany. That's alright. If they're not going to chump block, that gives me 7 free damage. That, that equalizes the field somewhat. I want to chump block. Okay, so my question is... Do I do the Epiphany or do I do Skrelix? I, you know what? Let's do Skrelix. 5... 10, 12, 13. Okay, yeah. I feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, you can't even attack me. You lose half your creatures. <gasps> How dare you! I was hoping that was going to be an instant, but... What if we get another instant here? No, that's just right, right? Because that puts lethal. I don't even need to do anything else. Exactly lethal. That's the perfect time to end the video. I got my 15 wins for the day. We won two different ways that I wanted to show you. We won with the Mind Splice apparatus out, along with the combination of Vadric and the others, to show you how cheap our instants and sorceries could be, how magnified we could make those X spells. And then the last match, we won a lot with our creatures, actually, uh, like the Storm Skrelix and the Haughty Jins powered by this, the instants and sorceries that we cast and the stuff that ended up in our graveyard. Um, so instead of winning the normal way we win with Mind Splice Apparatus, with the creatures like this we can make our spells cheaper and still eke out a win. Um, I, like the, I like being able to do it either way. It's, it's kind of fun. So let me show you just before we leave. 16 creatures, average 3.3 mana cost, 25 lands, and we went to 64 cards. And and really, the extra cards were the, the one, you know, the one cast Vindictive Flame Stoker, which came in kind of fun in that I was able to use them during that one match. Um, and the extra Blue Sun's Twilight is the second one because that's an added card that I put in there. And uh, and then I added in Celestis for the Vedric, but this is this is another source of mana, so I didn't really mind going to an extra card with the Celestis. And uh, and then I think my 
my extra card, so to speak, um, would have just been the Alchemist Gambit. That was number 64, which um, he worked out perfectly. Um, we got to exactly the right point where we could uh, get rid of the four extra mana it took from the cleave cost, take the extra turn, uh, get to where we needed to go to, to get the win. So everything worked for a change. Um, in past matches, when I've tried to play four Vadrix, um, I ended up with a lot of um, dead Vadrix cards in my hand a lot of the time, to the point where I didn't want to play with four of them unless I had a mirror box so that I could have multiples out at one time, which is still not a bad idea for a deck. Um, I might do that, but probably not with the, the Mind Splice apparatus. Um, but the key is, I don't know what happened. There, there was some shift change in the meta, and there's been so much removal for the most part that I, I could have four copies in now, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to lose one or two, so I don't mind having a backup anymore. I was kind of curious if I'd had too many Storm Skrelix, because it is a five drop, and I don't have any way of making it cheaper. So adding in four five drops to a deck that otherwise is geared around making instants and sorceries cheaper, like I said, it's counterintuitive. And if you get the draw wrong, it is kind of the luck of the draw, because if you get too many of these too early, it will cost you the match. Um, but the, the fun thing is like that last match you saw, you get just the right amount between creatures and, and non-creature spells, and you just can't be stopped. And, and then you start to get the triggers going, and it's just a ton of fun. So... I think this deck is a ton of fun. I am interested in what you all think. How does this compare to the other apparatus decks? Um, I'm going to have this under two playlists, the cheap decks and the uh, Mind Splice apparatus playlist. Um, for those who are new, I've got a lot of playlists on the YouTube channel. I've got you know between seven to eight decks featured in the Mind Splice apparatus playlist. Uh, in the cheap decks, I've probably got like six, seven decks there. I'll just double build this one so you can find it in either one. Uh, just because it's really based around making everything, everything that you can cheaper. Uh, I like the concept. I like the execution. You're going to have off days where Arena will just, you know, you saw the one match where they gave us three lands and we were kind of stuck. Um, that's still going to happen to you. Um, but uh, when you can start to, you know, draw five, six, seven cards with Silver Scrutiny or Cosmic Epiphany, I've had times where you could look, draw like 13 or 18 cards with Cosmic Epiphany and you just have to not do it because you're going to mill yourself. But uh, yeah, give me some feedback on the deck. What's your favorite apparatus deck so far out of all the ones that have been done? As always, like and subscribe. We'll have something new for you next time. Thanks everybody. Have a good one.